Dave, hi. This is Bill Voice from UKGKTV. This is my busy mate, Dave Nicholson. Uh, how are you Dave. doing, guys? Uh, yeah. I hope you're all fit and yeah. well. I'm in my combat gear. You are, you're looking good. I'm in my combat gear because I've been hiding in the bushes for about a week. Yeah. Because there's certain information about me <laughs> circulating that, that, you know, of, uh, how can I put it, evidence of my boyishness. Yeah, yes, yeah. I'm right. going to apologise, guys, before we play this video. If anybody needs to go to the dentist for a fill-in after, we totally yeah, understand. Yeah, because it is a bit sweet, isn't it? We totally understand. Oh. So, watch the video. I'm owning this, You'll love this, it. You'll I'm lo owning you're this, You're going to love I'm this. You're going to love this video. So, I'm owning it. check I'm this video it. out. <laughs> Just spoke to me. She said that I made her day. Because I told her she made mine. And how giggly are you? Oh, mate, I, feel, <laughs> I feel 11. I do. I do. She's lovely. She's still lovely. And I feel like my life's complete now. I do. I'm sorry. I, 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 can't, I can't express in words the joy I feel about being spoken to by her. This, is just, this isn't just any woman. This is like people at Time Forgot, Captain Kronos Vampire Slayer. This is like my teenage dream woman. Just, anyway, I'm yeah. stopping now. Okay, Bill, you can gush a bit more later. Cheers, mate. So, yeah, as you can see, I got to talk to the absolutely delightful and still amazingly stunning Caroline Munro, who's one of my... Uh, heroines. Heroines, yeah, one of my heroines. She's a heroine of mine. Because you know what? Uh, I've seen her over the years from a distance and I've stood in queues and I've even had a, in the past I've kind of got her autograph and it's always been, I've always she's been nice. in a massive queue. She's lovely, but wasn't she? She had time, yeah. She had time she's really nice. to talk. Really, really nice woman. She really walked nice. all around the show the other day because we were at Popcorn, weren't we? Yeah. And she walked around the show and a, a, a friend of mine, inverted commas, said, <laughs> you've just made his day. And she turned around and she looked at me and she said, and you've made mine. <laughs> so, mate, <laughs> what more can a man want? Uh, it yeah. was good. Well, you've seen it. You've seen the reaction from that. She was lovely. Uh, she was lovely and she was really sweet. And she was mostly sweet right at the beginning when we asked her to sign some stuff. Uh, well, yeah, well gonna... you see, I'm a teacher and I prepared a lesson. <laughs> right, so here we go. This, this is Caroline Munro. She could be confused with... A, with maybe Jane Seymour, maybe. Yeah. But this is definitely Caroline Munro, who is a stunningly beautiful <laughs> woman and still is. This is also a stunningly beautiful woman, and she is called Ingrid Pitt. Not Carolyn Monroe. Monroe. Really, really fast. <laughs> Jaguar, absolutely Aston Martin. Yeah. Let's put it that way. I'm going to tell you the story. I'm sure Bill's going to tell you the story. Because I've been humiliated, and he needs to be humiliated as well. Go when on. we were at the show, uh, <laughs> Carolyn Monroe came over. Um, actually came over. Actually came to the table. Yeah. So I spied me opportunity and I went out and I picked up an item that I was going to get her to sign and it wasn't it wasn't Carolyn Monroe, it was Ingrid Pitt. And she very graciously looked at it and asked me, she didn't say anything and then when I walked back to the table as I was looking at it, I thought, oh, <laughs> only I could get an actress to sign. And of course I did the worst thing I could possibly do and tell her so, so that's the story I did say later when I took her because I took a few things for her to sign and she signed a few things uh, and, and one of the sculpts we did for somebody else wasn't it she yeah. signed that and I explained to her that this is the sculpt that we intended to show her and she yeah. was really flattered she was, she really, was really, really flattered really, really by flat. it to a point where she almost kind of felt that she was astounded that anybody would make a figure of her. Yeah. Which to me is like, well, of course she would. Yeah. But she was very, she said something like, oh, I've never looked like that. And I said, no, you did look like that because Joe Bailey is an absolute master of the figure. And if Joe says you look like that, that's how you look. You look like and this, the figure, you know? incidentally, is available through Brian Mullen. It's yeah. uh, what's the one eighth scale? Yeah, it's about one eighth scale. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a Callum Munro as the not prince. Ingrid Pitt. Not Ingrid Pitt. <laughs> it's Callum Munro as the princess from Journey to the Earth's Core. Well, uh, at the Earth's Core, which was a Doug McClure movie. And I hope you're, I hope you're proud of me now, Julian. I've got the two, I've got, uh, I've got the two people correct now. God knows why I got them wrong in the first place. Uh, yeah, but I... the Ingrid Pitt sculpt, sculpt was beautiful, and I'm sure if you're going to be, if if either of these two women were going to be mistaken for each other, okay, it's not particularly an insult, is it really? No, no. Yeah, they do look no. completely different. They do look completely different. <laughs> well, even so, you know, they've both been bitten by Christopher Lee, I think. So there you go. There you go. Well, that, well, that yeah. was that guy. So that's yeah. my embarrassment. That's that's Bill's embarrassment. Uh, right, okay. 
<laughs> Owen, this is a carton of milk. When you bring people cups of tea, the milk goes into the cup with the tea. Dave, Dave, demonstrate again, please. Dave's fully trained our hostess, so he's shown you how it works. This is a Tesco carton of milk, <laughs> and uh, this is just in case you didn't recognise it. So just say, mate, you know. Like uh, I mean, if anybody, anybody in the United States that hasn't seen UK milk. That's what that's it looks, what it looks like. like. Oh, and yeah. that's what it looks that's like. That's what it looks like, Owen. Okay, so next time you get the brews, fetch the milk. <laughs> Otherwise, Bill won't forget. Right. I mean, popcorn was great, though, wasn't it? it was because good. the, it was, the it was, stars it was that good. they had. A bit quiet, but it was good. It was quiet, but it meant that when you were queuing for autographs, the queue wasn't massive and you could talk to people. Yeah. Martin Beswick was there as well, who's an absolute stunner. Mm-hmm. And halfway around my, my sojourn around the place, somebody recognised me. Sarah? Oh, yeah, Sarah. A shout out to Sarah. Sarah said to me that wolves are grey. Hey, and she knows. Well done, she Sarah. Well done. well done, well so, done. Well done, Kudos, Sarah. kudos. Wolves, wolves are grey. Wolves are grey. It, it confirms what they said. <laughs> you know. They certainly are. Uh, a few more shout outs before we move yeah. on to the new stuff. And obviously, we're a week away from UK, GK guys. I hope you're all getting excited. A big shout out to Julian. Hope that by the time this goes live, I hope the operation's gone well for you. And I hope to see you at weekend. In, I'd love you to be in a wheelchair. so not, not in an horrible way, so we can all give you a bit of banter. He's gone yeah, through yeah. an operation. Yeah. But I've, 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 I've briefing everybody to give you a bit of stick because he loves a bit of banter, Julian does. I hope it's gone well, Julian. I hope you're on your feet soon. I really hope you're at the show. So if you see anybody wobbling around in crutches... Give him a bit of a kick for me. <laughs> uh, another big shout yeah, out to a guy, and he's a legend over here, a guy called Robert Price. Uh, one of my favourite sculptors. Robert spoke to me in the week. We had, we were chatting about different projects, and he's just subscribed to the channel. Loves it. We're going to get you on, Robert. You're one of the UK legends. We're going to get you on there. He does some fantastic stuff, Robert. Uh, I'll, show yeah, you, yeah. I'll show you all that stuff. What's first, Bill? Well, uh, if we're looking at new stuff... Yeah, we'll go for new stuff Go for new stuff. Now, we showed you one of these a couple of weeks back. And yep. we, we had that conversation, which we always do. Do we need another Predator sculpt? And we said, yeah, we do, because it's this one. Now, I thought we didn't need any <coughs> more after this one. And this is the, 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 this the is Jungle, the Hunter. jungle Hunter. This by is Darren the Jungle Kent. Hunter by Darren Kent. Now, Darren Kent knows this, this creature inside out, doesn't he? He does. He I, knows I do by now. I've done that and, many. Yeah, and we, and so <laughs> many have been cast, and I've seen so many. I don't. I, I'm thinking. Well, you can't get numb to it, but it's amazing. You do, but when you see something like this, particularly something of this size, now what size would that? Would you say what, one third? This is the problem, see, because uh, scale wise, he's quite a big. He's quite a big he's creature. A big guy, isn't he? So it could be a quarter scale. Possibly. Possibly. Scale, so you, yeah, easy a quarter scale. All you predator fanatics you in tell the us. comments below, put what scale this would be. Yeah. Yeah, so we're, yeah. Uh, we're, I'm not going to commit. Cause no, we we did talk about the absolute immense detail on. This, well, would you? We? How would you go on to the size of the head? That's a human. Well, see, scale. for me, that that would be quarter scale. Maybe yeah. a quarter scale, or maybe a th- uh, one fifth. Oh. I don't know. I don't know. You see, because the thing is, the difference between scale and proportion, isn't there? So scale yeah. is is quite difficult to work out, really. But it's ace that. But it is ace. It's pretty good, isn't it? I now mean, this it, one. This is by Darren Kent. This one will be available at UKGK in limited numbers yeah. next weekend, guys. Next mm. weekend. Uh, all you guys that have ordered this or pre-ordered the jungle, the jungle Hunter, the last batch of people that can't make the show will be dispatched next week. So yeah. you get them. We all get them at the same time. We've all oh, got that same lovely thing. Lovely big piece of work. It's, it's gorgeous. Piece. People have already had the yeah. first people. First people on the list that ordered it straight away have had theirs this week. Yeah, I believe. So there's another batch going out next week. Just when you thought it was safe, we'll safe to put, them back into the jungle and or the that, city. And put that wallet away. Yeah. Because uh, what is, what's that old book called? The Garage Kit That Ate My Wallet. That's it, yeah. The Garage Kit That Ate My Wallet. Now, if you wanted that, yeah, you'll want this. This is the next one in the series. Oh, look. look at that. You know, David, How it's the stance. That? It's the stance of it, isn't it? Because I it looks like a great. classical sculpt. I just think it's great. I just, I, I was, <sighs> met, I was blown away by the jungle hunter, and now I've seen the, the city, city hunter. hunter. I'm like, this is Predator Two. Predator Two. I quite, I like Predator Two. I, I, I love Predator Two. I think Predator Two is great because it introduces the concept of aliens versus predator, which is. Look at the base, man. Well, that's the base. Look, the base is the cellar where the spaceship is crashed into. They're like the sewage drain, mm. and as well as 
a beautiful piece of like you know sewage with all the pipes on it's actually got to a human skull but also an alien skull there how good is that i mean this is beautiful that and, is super you know it's the stance it's the, the it's the spiral the contrapposto in the stance this shows not only does that look aesthetically pleasing it's the, do, you, do you think that the yeah. armor on it looks quite samurai -y? It looks I, like I do i think that was a bit it's more so look on it he's got more armor on in an urban it's session got more than setting accessories everything. and everything yeah, he's got it? everything on there and uh, this guys this one will come with the obviously as you can see the, the cast we've got here We've got the dreads. That, we've got the dreads that will be cast separate, yeah. and then we've got teeth, the teeth and the mandibles, etc. And we've got, you know, we've got. So this is just the the sort the spin cast bit that you get yeah. plus the accessories. Now this thing will be at the show. Whether it will be available for purchase is another thing because we you really could put do, a deposit down, couldn't you? You could buy this at yeah, the show. Yeah, you could buy it at the show. We'll send it you out, but it's just so that people can see it, so that when you get there, you're gonna go, yeah, I've had the first one. Now I know there's a few guys out there that are already. <laughs> he loves it. There's a few guys out there that have already <laughs> committed to this. Don't worry, guys. After UKGK, we're gonna be dispatching them. Give me a couple of days to get me head together and we're going to be putting these out the door all the guys that did the jungle hunter you should have pre-ordered it for delivery not for collection because collections at the show you'll you'll get it before the show and talking about collection at the show i did put a post up yesterday or well, it'll be a few days when this airs we will hold your order at the show till one o'clock so if you pre-ordered anything yeah please be just come and make yourself known you don't have to pay us just come and say i'm here i definitely yeah. want it i'll give you the cash you know now or later you can leave your stuff there you can leave your stuff behind it but if you don't it's just so i know if you turned up or not because i'm going to be crazy crazy because we put we put stickers on them at the back don't you if we if do people are going to definitely we have do. them we they do. can collect them later because you don't want to be walking around the show with your arms full of stuff no you know, so collection for later is good, but please tell Dave that you're coming. Because please tell Dave, yeah. yeah, please tell us you're here. Please yeah. tell us, come to me, Dave, I've come to pick this up. Oh, because we do such a big amount of stuff, and it, it's it, people think I'm exaggerating, it's not. Bill will tell you what it's like. Oh, no, it's madness. It's not. It's we madness. do such a large yeah. selection, we can only take a certain amount of stuff. So if you come and say, Dave, I, I'm here, I'll give you the money later, okay, we'll put it away for you. And, it, and we'll just keep making sure. I know a lot of you have pre-ordered, and that's the clever thing to do. So, Mark, well done. That's the clever thing. Uh, Steve and Bryn, clever thing to do. Matt Paul, brilliant, because your stuff is secure. Just come and say yay, and we'll get it later on. Talking about the show, we're a week off. Now, uh, it's going to be mad for me. So, anyone, so bear with me, chaps, you know, because it's crazy time. The banner's sorted, the van's sorted, the stock is getting there. All the, 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 is it this year's banner? Yeah, we, we, can, have banner. we can have last year's can if you want. Can we put last year's up as yeah, well? Yeah, you can have. Because we didn't see last year's. If you want to do that, I'll, you can I'll put that. I'll put that up. That's I'll be there early, spot. mate. Is still, still in the box? I'll put still in the box, up. that one. Yeah. We never got, for some reason, we never got down to do it. I've been informed by a couple of guys. Dan Kent will be there yeah. showcasing all his goodies. He will be. He will be. I think he might be sculpting. I'm not sure, but he will have stuff for sale. Joe Bailey will be sculpt. Will be sculpting a piece. That's Joe Bailey appearing live in public. Joe Bailey appearing live in public. Autographs on as well. <laughs> Joe Bailey's there. He's signing. Not signing. He's sculpting, <laughs> and he's basically maybe selling Caroline. Will, Caroline will turn up and ask him if he's got a sculpt of England Pit. For of England Pit. It's not gonna. Do, it's not gonna go away. That is it. No, I can see it. No, I can no. see Neither it. is the video that you played earlier. <laughs> That'll be. Hey, there. That, that's that's, it, that, that's up there, mate. That's, I that's didn't not know. Going. I didn't know that as an adult man I could look that goofy. Yeah. I, I mean, I look like a Disney character. My yeah, feet are sticking that. out. My ears are burning. Yeah. Thanks, I mean, thanks for that, thanks, Owen. Thanks, Owen. Thanks for that, Owen. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for that. It was emotional. It was emotional, Terry. Oh, also, big shout out to a guy called Paul, Paul Willits. Paul. Yeah, Paul's he's... got the, we won't tell him, it'll be a surprise. Oh, is that's it... ready. It's done. Yeah, that's Oh, done. wow. I'm yeah. just doing this. You look, you look like clue, an old guy, a fun advert, isn't is it? It was like a Nescafe. That's no, what that's... it looks like. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, that, that, that is really important. Yeah, that it's... is, that's a clue. He's, he's yeah. actually doing that, not that. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've plenty of that today. Really nice. But yeah, so, so, so Paul will be there. Paul's got his usual stuff. Yeah. Paul's, Paul's a really nice Paul's guy. Paul's stuff is 
precise and fine. Yeah, yeah, it is, yeah. It's, it's, it's a, almost porcelain, and it's he's brilliant, Paul. Is it a female samurai there? Do you think? He, I think so. I think so. Have a look on Paul's stall. There's a piece of work there called the female samurai. It is absolutely. It's one of the best things I've ever seen. You've seen all them little garden things that Yeah, does. like, the, the, and wow. he's very much into his Japanese style sculpture, and these, like, little Netsuki kind of small sculpts, they are, they are precise and beautiful. They're lovely. Yeah. I mean, he's a nice guy. He's had a rough couple of months, Paul, yeah. but um, go and say hi. Give him That's a bit nice of love. He's a nice yeah. guy, and uh, he deserves his place there. He's, mm -hmm. he's, he's a smashing fella, but he'll be there. He's got a new piece coming there, which is quite... It's, it's more of an invention, isn't it? Yeah, it's like a... It's kind of a mechanism... Meets a sculpt, meets a model kit, meets a model Weird. kit. Yeah, there's but pieces, it's good. there's pieces, it's good. and it's precise, it's precision. But you know, he's a bit of a locksmith, isn't he? In his in his own yeah. life. Yeah. So it's only it's not surprising that this thing he's created has wheels and gears and that's things it. like that. So that's it. That's it. But he's a nice guy, so go and see him. We've got your Pete's bases. Pete will be there doing his usual stuff. Yeah. Pete's Pete's well known throughout the industry is basis the second to oh, we got we got clubs coming to do this place loads of clubs loads this of clubs. time it's going to be visually very good apparently yeah. it's been advertised all over, all over the area in the uni yeah. so it should be good we've got guys coming from international uh flying in there's a guy coming from ireland called brian you won't understand a word that he says. says no just nod and agree. we've got geordies there to yeah, translate they're the for same us. yeah they, they're the got, same you won't understand well, any of what they say why i mate yeah we are thinking of getting yeah. subtitles for the table Tables, for yeah. mm -hmm. uh brian just nod and say yes yeah, yeah, and then yeah, buy him yeah. a buy guinness stuff. Buy him a Guinness. Buy him, and, buy him. If you buy him stout, he'll be happy. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's yeah. all you need to do with Brian. Nice yeah. guy. Just say yes. He's he, he'll be there. And um, surprisingly enough, we've got a visitor by Keith and his son. Keith Cousins is Keith, popping now. Yeah. Bryn will be there. Bryn be, from Horror Hands. Bryn and Horror Hands is covering it. Bryn from Horror Hands. So they'll uh, be there. If they'll, you if you don't subscribe to Horror Hands and you subscribe to this, you need to subscribe to Horror. Yeah, Hands please subscribe to Horror. It's the Hands. best horror video channel. On YouTube, as far as I'm concerned, he's fanatical, isn't he's he? He's fanatical, but he's an expert and he's a lovely guy. And these guys, know. these guys, these yeah. guys are good. Yeah. Now you've got a guy going there that everyone thinks is a girl, but he isn't. It's Paul because he uses his wife's. Oh, uh, uh, his Facebook. wife's Facebook. Page. Now everybody says, "Oh, is that lovely lady going? No, There's a good painter." Yeah, yeah. No, it's it's, 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 Paul. it's Paul. And when you see Paul, Paul looks like Heisenberg off Breaking Bad. <laughs> so all you guys, you'll be disappointed. It's you'll not be disappointed. The, yeah. Yeah, and it means that I don't have to speak in a respectful manner to yes. him anymore because yes, I know he's yes. not a female anymore. He's such a nice right, guy, Paulie. Yeah, yeah. There's <laughs> there, there's a lot <laughs> there's a lot of guys going there. There's, Surprisingly enough, there's a, another guy that's turning up that uses his wife's profile. I don't know what that's in. It must be a, must be a, it's what it's the youngsters the thing, do. It's what you, you know, it's what old blokes that want anonymity <laughs> do. Not like us that show their faces on videos. You know what I mean? Because there used to be. I can't do you believe. Remember, do you remember Police Five? Yeah. Well, Police File was it? Yeah. He used to come on and he used to show you pictures of criminals in the yeah. afternoon after the scary just before as the hell. news. Scary as hell. This is a bit like police fire, isn't it? <laughs> well, you get not much everywhere you go. <laughs> uh, people shout, "Are you off UK GK TV?" Yeah. I'm not sure. I'm not sure whether that's a good thing, but it is. So the show's it. The show's really close. You won't be another video now. UK GK TV will be there. Bill will be there. So go no, and say there. hello Do to him. and saying hello to people. Maybe, yeah. cost, maybe. I was going to say molesting you, but more accost <laughs> accosting you you're in the hall. You're so still I'll thinking about Carolyn Monroe. Right? Carolyn Monroe yes. <laughs> <laughs> if you want, if you want to get on the video of the now, show, just basically go and say see, hello. Say hello to me. There'll be somebody there with a with a camera, and I will say hello to you, and I'll just be asking you where you're from and stuff like that. Right. So it, it, you don't. We don't. If you don't want to be interviewed. Do what people normally do when I approach just, them. Just, just ignore run off. Just you know. ignore him. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I was looking for somebody in a changing room with a swimming bath recently, and that, uh, wasn't, that wasn't really? a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> no, that wasn't a good idea. Right. Are we? We're going to now, basically, you've waited patiently uh, for a long time. I don't know how we're going to do this. I'm going to do it very carefully. So, but... Okay, are we on? Are You're we on. on? Right, now this, this is what we've been talking about. This is the Winston effect. This is... I still can't look at this without feeling a cheesy grin breaking out across my face. This is the very famous makeup artist Stan Winston. This is Arnold Schwarzenegger being made up as the Terminator. Alternative heads are available. We've got Winston's big creations. We've got the Gill Man from the Monster Squad. We've got Pumpkin Head. And of course here we have Predator. And there, down the bottom there, we have the alien suit. 
and behind there you can't really see it but we've got a chest we've got a face hugger on the back of the chair we've got the alien egg here and stuff like that all of these things that he was responsible for creating for the movies we've also got the, the Jurassic, Jurassic Park Velociraptor under the table and obviously the makeup on the table so I think that you're going to just be blown away when you see this because this is a masterwork of a piece of a kit. It's a masterwork and it's got it's got what? It's got well I I've, I've done the instruction sheet for this and it's got so many parts I can't remember how many parts. So this is going to be a hell of a fun to put together and you know what when this is painted it's going to look absolutely stunning. And here we have an example of the predator head. So if I swap these over you can get a bit of an idea of what it's going to look like when it's painted that is a mammoth task i i think that's going to take you weeks absolutely okay so you you you've seen what we've been going on about and to be honest with you it's an astounding piece of work it's dave concept isn't it it's your concept how did the concept come about uh we did we started off we were inspired by the jana stuff Mm. And we took inspiration from the Janus kits. Is that the uh, Lon Chaney Senior? Lon Chaney yeah, Lon and Chaney the Jack Pierce tribute. Yep. So what we did is, we looked at it, and the first one we did was the Ray Ariazen, which was inspired by Mike Hill's <laughs> one to one. Right, yeah. uh, so we we looked at Mike, and it was so such a fantastic concept, and that was where Mike, where Ray Ariazen sat in a chair with the skeletons, and I thought, well, a smaller version with all its monsters would look great. So. It's a big nod out to Mike. Uh, we didn't want to directly copy what he'd done because it's it's, mm -hmm. it's you know it's yeah. not it's it, we're going to, have to think outside the box. So we thought we'd we'd do a similar thing but change it about a bit. So when we due to the success of that one, uh, the area was in which is now sold out. Uh, we decided then we were going to do three more in the series, and this is the second one, which is the Stan Winston. So what I wanted to do is combine the two elements of the Jack Pierce tribute yeah. and the uh, Lon Chaney, Lon Chaney Man of a yeah. Thousand Faces and fetch it up to date so you've got the pillars um, with the, with the creatures the, yeah, yeah which is just which is and, a chain and, and there's th these these busts in a sense what yeah. I love about this kit is they are kit they're little busts but you could display them separately in their own right couldn't you you can they are yeah. lovely just the you right can. scale to get the yeah, detail you can, you can. as you can tell this is this is a painted version who was it who painted this uh, Andy painted that Andy, Andy Copeland painted, Andy, Andy, Copeland. Andy, Andy Bailey, painted Bailey painted that oh Andy and he barely because he looks because he loves his predators. He loves his predators. Look at that. The scope. The, the the problem with these kits are that originally we we penciled Steve in to do the main figure. So Stan and Arnie uh, were done by years ago by Steve. So Steve does the figures and then we fit everything around, around it. Yeah. Uh, and we got to a point where you you came in late in the day, which was great. Yeah. And then I've got the figures all lined up and the chair all working and everything. And then Joe Bailey came over and I said, Joe, will you do me these busts? And then he come back and then I said, what all about a wrap? And, he, and then he, and we, we had it over a cup of tea. So Joe Bailey has done the bust. Steve Thompson's done the two main figures. Darren Kent's done the alien. And I, I'm just going to go and get a piece of it. So yeah, he's going to get a piece of it. So My favourite piece. So basically... Um, Steve Thompson did the main figures. Joe Bailey did the bus the, and the Raptor, and some of the other uh, surrounding parts. That with was it. the bit. You just yeah. the right point. That's the Raptor underneath the makeup table. Look, you've got a makeup table. You did the makeup table, didn't you? I'm you surprisingly, did. I did, yeah, did did do some of that. Yeah. And that is the Raptor around the base of the table. Now it'd be easy to miss that when you first see this kit, and that's the beauty of the kit. There'll be a million things that the onlooker will miss. Unless they've really studied, because yeah. there's a thousand things yeah. going on in there. Isn't well, we did. Yeah. We we had to stop. I mean, we got to the point where, where we'd got the the pillars all done. Joe, Joe, and then we all did the pillars. We got them in the right place, and then in come Bill, and Bill said, "God, that's amazing." And we had it on a piece of cardboard, and we were marking it out. And I said, "This is what we want." And Bill went, "I'll do it." So Bill went away, and then he did it within 24 hours. The base, and he was well, that. Well, it was it was enthusiasm and awe because mm. some of my favorite ever sculptors are on that base and to be able to put some of my little work in there it's nice to be part it's of it it's nice to be part of it i mean obviously there's a list of this on the instructions the box is going to be full color it's going to be brilliant so at the end of the day have you got is, is you, you said three didn't you you said there's a series there's, of three there's four there's four there's two more to come so there's two more to come and they're 
They're in the they're they're, they're, they're in, the, in the process. Yeah, one of them's so. in one of them's in the early stages, and the mm. other ones it, it's it's once the next one goes, we're doing it. What we wanted to do is provide something special, so we do one every couple of years. So we didn't want to fill it full of good every kit full of full of goodies because you get you, you get fed up of you it. Get fed up of it yeah. So if you make a, if you make a special effort on this like a special limited, it's going to be limited. There's going to be thirty of them. That's all there's going to be. It's so. a mammoth. Uh, manufacturing it is a mammoth task, isn't it? Yeah. It's one of those things where you've got boxes on the table full of particular parts. Yeah. And if you have to do yeah. thirty, by the time the thirty, and this is this is the beauty. You see, this brings me to a point we always end up making. The beauty of a cast resin kit is this: the molds wear out after, after about a limited 25, amount of time. 30, Twenty-five, yeah, yeah. thirty. You're lucky if you get say thirty-two yeah. out. Of it. Yeah, yeah. So there's only ever going to be thirty-two of these, and yeah. you, th th it gives it a uniqueness perhaps that SDL files don't have. Well, the Stan Winston, the yeah. Stan Winston, a couple of guys that had a Stan Winston off me didn't build them and he sold them for double what they bought yeah. it off. So it is right, Harry Housen. The Harry Housen one, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. So that yeah. that it, it's nice, it's nice to hear that things are becoming more collectible. Yeah. But we're going to do thirty. So yeah. what? How we plan on doing it? It's 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 a lot bigger than the Harry Housen. So all you guys that bought the Harry Housen, this is. A step up from that. It's gonna have the gifts in it. It's gonna have like the little knickknacks, full full colour by Bill. Everything's gonna be done by Bill. I've let Bill get on with yeah, that. The artwork and we're the gonna instruction. Cool, yeah, full colour, double sided instruction sheet. That is a piece of art. Yeah, so we're gonna do that, yeah. and then we're gonna do some little gimmies inside it. So, mm -hmm. the, you should receive your copy of this by before this Christmas, Christmas twenty twenty four. However, we had an issue last year because people kept hitting the list later on. What we're going to do is we're going to take it to UK GK show for people to see that, that, yeah, that made see the it. effort to turn up. I know people, a lot of you can't, but I'm not going to. You're not going to be sort of. You know, you, you're going to be able to get it. Yeah, you're not going to be penalised for not coming penalized, to the show. Penalised. That's the word I'm looking but, for. The, but it, you see that kit at the show, I guarantee you will buy it. You'll buy it, and mm. if that means. Remortgaging, if that means getting rid of your <laughs> motorcycle, be that. Be that, yeah. <laughs> selling your children to slavery, that's then not, I would that's do not that. too bad. I would not do too that, bad. Mate. I would do that. We're going to ask for a deposit yeah. on the Saturday, so that weekend the deposit slots are going to go live. Yeah, yeah. Now, I've already, the people that have seen it that have come in and just walked into the shop, <sighs> they're on, the, they want they're on it already. Yeah. So, there are people that are on that list, so effectively, mm -hmm. that list isn't 30, it's a lot less, trust me. So, if you want it, pay the deposit. You're not. I'm not going to be asking you for the balance until Christmas. We're not. We're not. We're not being mean by doing this limited business because we want to keep the quality up. And it's something special, it, isn't it? It's, it's something special. It's something special. We're not printers. No. We, we're sculptors yeah. and manufacturers. And you know, there's something kind of romantic about knowing that there's only thirty. A thirty in the whole wide world. In the yeah. world, not just in England, but the world. When their moulds are worn out, we're not, we're not doing any more. Not doing There's any a more. lot of the stuff that, that you know, because we could recast from a kit, but we don't want to do that. And, no. the, and the originals, a lot of that was made in uh, what monster clay and stuff like that. Yeah. So in the process of manufacturing, the originals often get destroyed, don't they? Yeah. When you do the mould moulding. Yeah. Then. Yeah. So a lot of this is kind of I, I like the romantic notion of it. I like this ethereal quality. Limited edition. Limited edition. Now there's yeah. two, now there's gonna hopefully there's gonna be two ed, there's gonna be two predator heads, yeah. uh, one by Joe, one by Darren. Hopefully yeah. if Darren gets gets the time to do it, he's been very busy. There's two Arnie heads. Yeah. Well, there's there's, it's standard. technically three, but one doesn't fit on. No, there's one's two alternating heads. One's got the endoskeleton showing. One's got the full Arnie. Yeah. And there's also a, a, a full endoskeleton skull. Which is to go on the base. That's it, yeah. So that doesn't have the neck joint. That goes. That goes where you want. That it. goes where you want it. That's just incident. That's the kind of beauty of this. It's got an incidental endoskeleton head. It has, how many? Yeah. How many it kits has. have an incidental <laughs> feature skull on their base? That's just a little kit in its own right. See, I, I'm at the point where I've seen it from yeah, but, two years ago. Oh. It's like everything else. I've seen this two years ago. And I get my inspiration from people like Bill and people that turn in. I mean, Andy Copeland came in and seen it for the first time about a week, two weeks ago. And he was just it's, like, wow, it's fantastic. I need that. Yeah. Uh, so I, I, I've seen it. So, and it's like these. Bill's walked in today and he's seen the Predator 2 and gone, jeez, whoa. 
And because yeah. I see these, I'm kind of black, colorblind to it, if you like. So, if I don't seem enthusiastic, it's not that I'm not. It's just, it's just, it's it's everyday everyday occurrence for me. Which yeah, cause, is not cause occasionally I I kind of walk in and I see something that's been around quite a while that I haven't seen before yeah. because it's historical. Like that. <laughs> like this, and I've just said to Dave, can we just have a quick look at this? Yeah, could absolutely lovely. So, uh, this, before he goes on to that, yeah. it, deposit at the show. If you want it, get on the list. Somebody will be there taking your name, your order. You can PayPal me at the regular address. Uh, price will be determined nearer to the show. I've got a ballpark figure. It's going to be slightly more expensive than the, the um, Harry Housen, but Bill says it's too cheap, but we'll put it up nearer to the time. Uh, there's only going to be 30 guys. Get on this list if you want it, because I'd say a good 50%. I've probably gone. As Scott Walker said, no regrets. No, no regrets. tears to cry. There you right, go. what have we got here, Bill? Well, it's just, I saw this. It's been cast up for somebody. And is this for the show? Anybody that knows me knows that my favourite horror film is probably has to be, classic horror movie, is The Bride of Frankenstein, which is the second James Wells movie. My favourite horror movie of all time in terms of a piece of art. It's black and white, obviously, because I just love black and white. And here we've got another Karloff from the bride of frankenstein and this this kind of refers back to last week's when i was doing that was it andy copeland's uh yeah andy's and i was talking about andy andy's being the frankenstein from the original movie this was made a couple of years later the makeup is slightly different it's but, got a and singed effect Karloff, yeah Karloff is a lot older he's been through the windmill where he's been burned at the end of the oh, original right, movie yeah. and this this is a lovely sculpt now who's this by this is by one of the, the pioneers of the hobby, a guy called Lee Ames, who's yeah. a really nice gentleman. Lee has sadly not participating in the hobby anymore, no, shame, which is man. really sad because he's that second to none. This, this is done. like a drawing. It's excellent. A drawing excellent. brought to life. It's, su and, superb. Uh, it's superb. And, and it, I can just about show you the detail on the hand there. Look at the, the veins in the back of the hand. Yeah. It's got this lovely rough stone base. Uh, it's, I like how it's all swept. I, I, yeah, look at the sweep on the back of that. It's like it's coming out of a piece of stone. It's fantastic, isn't it? It's fantastic. It's, it, this is like, this is true sculptural technique to 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 it's hollow nice. out the back of the figure like that, and it also gives it a nice stance when you're looking at it, because every time you look at it from every different angle, it's not just a figure cut down. It's it's a it's a lovely sculpture. So you know, it's one of those things, and uh, it's like if you look, you can see. Because his hair's been burned off in the windmill fire, you can see the lovely clips on his head. I think it's a good uh, yeah. one. I quite like that. It's very underrated, Dan. It I mean, is a very underrated piece. There's a lot of Frankenstein's about, mm. and we know that our American cousins love Frankenstein. Mm. Um, yeah. But my view is that we do good Frankenstein's yeah, as well. We do We've done. Yeah. Mike Mike's done some good Frankenstein. Brilliant Frankenstein. Lee's done some Franken good Frankenstein. Um, Steve's done a nice Frankenstein. Andy Copeland's done some great Frankenstein. This one is just by chance that's been out, this Bride of Frankenstein. Um, and hopefully, this will it should be at the show, so if there's anybody who wants one, just let us know. Again, we're going to be limited, guys. So solid cast, probably oh, yeah, say so. quarter scale, maybe. Maybe I'd quarter scale. scale. Quarter my head. Maybe quarter, yeah, scale, quarter scale, and it's an olden, but it's a good oldie, but a go a, go, a, go, a golden oldie. No, that one. Yeah, I like it. I think it's good. It's one of my favourite. Yeah, Frankies. it is for me. The way he, his jaws distended at the bottom and his teeth. It's in in it's this in the movie was growling, yeah, isn't it? he's growling. It, the, the movie was was subtitled "The Monster Speaks," right? Because in the original movie, he doesn't say anything, but he learns to say things like "bread good, fire bad." Oh, right. And things like that. So he's speaking, and he and obviously he meets the bride who rejects him, and because he's rejected by the bride, he, he destroys the laboratory, blows him up in the end. I don't think that's a spoiler because oh. everybody's seen it. <laughs> I mean, it, it, there's only two ways it can end: he either gets burned in a windmill or he blows up the lab. He blows up the and lab, and it doesn't kill him because he comes back, doesn't he? In <laughs> yeah. like Frankenstein versus the Wolfman and, and House the, of Frankenstein, and all the other Frankenstein. Abbott and Costello meet Frankenstein. Yeah. And, you know, Frankenstein's mum. Thing that that that, that was, bomb, did wasn't you? really a movie, but I reckon it had, during the nineteen seventies in Italy that was probably a proposed title of a movie. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, so so that, that so this is a little bit of a gimme for it. Guy. Of X, uh, we hope you're know. all excited. Mm. Now, just to briefly keep going on about the show because some people don't equate on UKGK. Okay, so 
the show starts at 10 o'clock and yeah. finishes around about 4, 4, 30. Yeah. It's free to get in. There's a painting mm-hmm. competition. Uh, it's £2.50 per entry mm-hmm. and or, or 5 for £10. I'm sure I'm going to get some of this wrong. Best of show, best bust and, and best figure. Now, uh, it's done for fun, so don't come shouting at me if your kit didn't win because I don't judge you because, you know, I, I haven't got time. Um, there'll be a lot of people there. There's food, hot and cold food there. Everything's okay. There's a night out to a steakhouse on the Friday okay. and I'm not sure at the moment because they've left it late about the Saturday. So... Guys, if we're all getting together on the Saturday, we need to get our fingers out because we're running out of time. There's, I know the guys like to go for curry and this, but mm-hmm. there's all sorts of stuff going on. But there's definitely a organised event on the Friday night. Now, traders, vendors, displayers, please, about half past eight, quarter to nine on the day, please be patient so we're all ready to let you in. We might see us milling about inside. We are doing stuff. We're not talking. We're getting everything sorted so that you can. It'll be transaction, a smooth transaction. The venue, you can go around the back. I'll guide you around the back and the fire doors. You'll be allowed to come in and the fire doors. Now, please, please, please. This is very important. If you are unloading at the back, I know a lot of you. Some of you, have, I've got limited. Uh, you know, uh, what was it? limited ac- access, uh, access, yeah. Yeah, accessibility. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Once you've unloaded, move your car and put it onto the, the, the allocated spot so that someone yeah. else can come in. No, because you're clear. just if you leave yeah. it there, you're just hindering everybody else. I yeah. will ask you to move it. I will have my head of security, Charlie, with me. So he will make you move it. <laughs> so, but, don't so, want to mess with Charlie. No, don't mess with Charlie. Come and say hi to me and Bill. We yeah, are looking yeah. forward to it, guys. It's, let's make it a nice show mm-hmm. the, as well. The content on the tables. Now, please, 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 m- the majority of you that are at, on, at, on, the, on the, the, the show or attend the show have got common sense. Yeah. Let's not have anything ridiculously stupid, graphically violent or yeah. or nudity. That's why we moved yeah. us from, from Sandbatch because they didn't like the content. So... Just be be aware it's a family orientated yeah. show. If, yeah, if, 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 you, if you've you, got a Princess Leia with a removable bikini, leave the bikini, bikini on. on. So basically, guys, if you think it's a bit dodgy, it probably is. is. All right, so you're not, we're not children, we're all adults. Well, having, kids will be there. There will be kids there. There is going to be there is going to be cosplay, which is a big fan. A people, big, people, obviously, people know it's going to be horror related. So oh, there's going to be TV. a certain amount of acceptability. Yeah, there's going to, yeah, yeah, but let's but not. We're not. We're, we're talking about maybe you know stuff that goes a little bit beyond. Yeah, the let, let, let's let's keep it. Let's keep it. Gory sensible. Hammer is as far as we want to go. Yeah, let's keep it yeah. sensible, Gory guys. Let's, let's, not, let's not go yeah, too far. Let's, go. let's not go too far. Um, I know we don't, and we're perhaps over yeah, yeah. over comping, but we don't know who's going to be coming from the village, with all the surrounding areas, because Andy Finney's been promoting it very well, yeah. so. Let's let's make it good, guys. There's going to be cosplay there. Big fat shout out to Andy Finney for supplying that. And there's bacon butters. And if you want to get in our good books, mine's a bacon and sausage. Yours oh, is bacon, 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 mate. bacon, bacon and a, a cup of tea. Sauce would be fun. So yeah. be safe, guys. I don't know what the weather forecast is. Be safe, and we hope to see you next week. Next weekend. Anything you yeah. want to add to that, mate? No, just have a good time and be happy. Uh, no driving uh, if references. Uh, no, basically, uh, it's it's very accessible, isn't it? And yeah. if you're driving out of it, it's very close to the M6, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So M6, yeah. guys, if you're coming north, it's 15. Yeah. If you're coming, no. If, if, you, come if you're coming in, from the south, it's 15. 15. If you're coming from the north, it's 16. 16. Jump on the M6. Yeah, yeah. So as long as you get off at them junctions, 15 and 16, you're not a million miles. 16, you're probably 10 minutes. Yeah. I don't. I don't. I don't use fifteen. It's a bit further south for me. Yeah. I shall be there about half past eight, quarter to nine, possibly earlier. Checking everybody in. I'll be there at the same time because I'll be helping. Yeah. So come and come and look like for I'll us. So come and say hello. Being there. Also, one thing. Big shout out for Rachel. She is because she's had a lot of people asking her about paint ups. She will be there with surprise, surprise, a table with some paint ups that are for sale. Because I know there's quite a few people interested in the shark painted by her. She yeah. will have paint ups there. So 
Go and say hi to her, and if you're lucky, you might be able to snag one of them off her. She's been working really hard these last few weeks, hasn't yeah, she? Yeah, she has. She's, 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 non-stop, she's non-stop not here today. Stuff. She's enjoying no, a day off, off, which is good. She deserves it. So take care, guys. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe. Uh, any comments yeah. in below, keep them nice and clean. Let us know what you think. Yeah, take care on your way home, if, especially if you're in a van. Okay. Cheers. Take care, guys. <laughs>
humanoid is what they call it. You know, what I'm gonna hold it up close again. I liked it. I thought it was very cool looking. You know what it kind of reminds me of a little bit? It, I, the uh, sculpt influence, um, just with what he, he was doing. It almost looks like a um, engineer from Prometheus. Yeah, it does. It does. And, have you got the, and then you got the alien hive in the background. It's really cool. So a lot of different ways. A lot of you know you could finish it off or paint Very original. It different ways. So I'm still kind of deciding on how I want to do that. But uh, if you're interested in any of these kids, Mike's a super nice guy. Uh, contact him again uh, through any of those means as I had showed you. So Cthulhu Gizzard Customs. He'll be more than happy to take care of you. I'm going to let Steve take the reins now on one here. Here, I really loved doing this kit. This was really fun. Uh, really enjoyed painting it. And I built the base for it. We got the ring, 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 dan, dan, dan. There you go. Norma Bates. I painted one. So you get this to appreciate some color on it. <laughs> and, you know, I just thought I, I needed a base for it. I thought I'd just to add to it. And uh, so... Made up a block and and uh, laid some aves over it and did it up. Yeah, it, it turned out fantastic. Todd Carolyn did this piece. He produced it. He sculpted and produced it. Sculpt, right? Yep, and produces it. We're not sure if it's still available through him. You, if you're interested, you have to contact him. Again, it's just the bust. Uh, you could add your own base or anything, as such as Steve did, but. Uh, it was a cool we wanted to we wanted to show you guys over there. I you know how many of you love the psycho. You got a master class. Yeah. Yep. Great movie psycho. of Alfred Hitchcock. But if you have any questions on this piece, um, feel free to, to contact Todd Carolyn. So show them one more time up close. They like that. They like that I can see them. So I hope and I hear you guys have a father of slasher movies. You guys have a big show coming up over there this coming weekend. So for those of you that are going to that over there, enjoy it. And I wish we could be there, but not yet. We can't. So in the meantime, I hope we've enlightened your day a little bit with these few pieces that Hopefully we showed you. Eventually, we could uh, get in contact with uh, uh, Doc Brown. You know, he can hook us up and we can go back in time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Great Scott Marty. Yeah, that's all I picture. Beetlejuice hair. <laughs> well, take care over there across the pond, our friends, and uh, and we will see you on the next.